Welcome back. Let's play Suicode in. So last time we recruited some members with Millich and we recruited a couple of new members here in Kirov. So let's go get Sarah this time. So she needs some soap and this guy, he has the soap, but he needs some soy sauce. So we need to go on a little trading expedition here. Soy sauce, sure, but only if you get me some salt. Okay, so the person with the salt is down here, that woman down there. And this is like a trading thing that was expanded more upon in later Suikoden's, like you'd find different spices and ingredients all around the world, and then like in some places they would be cheaper, some places more expensive, so you buy them in the cheaper places and then go sell them in the more expensive places. So this guy should have the yardstick that the other lady wants. He wants some sugar, and we have sugar. If you don't have sugar, just go to the item shop here and you'll be able to get some sugar for 100 bits. So, real deal. So let's go give the lady some yardstick. So give us a salt. So we go up to this guy, give him the salt, and get some soy sauce. Now give this guy a soy sauce, get soap. <coughs> Another favor. I'll favor you right across the head, you loser. Alright, so let's go give Sarah the soap. Oh, you brought me soap? Turns out I had some, but thanks anyway. My name is Sarah, how do you do? Yay, we got Sarah. So that's all the business we have in Kirov for now. <coughs> let's just head on north. To the burnt village. Oh, we have sirens here, okay. It's going to use the Unite attack, even though there's only two, because it's still pretty powerful. And Stallion is very fast. Yeah. Alright, so this should be... the village of Kaleka, which was destroyed. Hey, who are you, fella? Oh, Leon Silverberg. You must be Bo, leader of the Liberation Army. I know you. Be careful. In a war, only the strong survive. That's all there is to it. You must recruit as many soldiers as you can. <laughs> all right, will do. So we have a broken item shop here with a treasure and some enemies. <clears throat> so we have Hawkmen. So still just use the Unite attack and... Take him out. Oh, they take more than one hit. Oh no. Alright, there we go. And what's in this treasure chest? An earth rune piece. Great, I got another one. I have another earth rune piece in storage, I think. So let's go up here. And fight Shadow. Well, this time we actually have to fight Shadow instead of being interrupted by him in our headquarters. Alright, one hit kills. Nice. <clears throat> 4,000 bits. Great. Oh, wait. Who's this character? What's your business here, young man? Me? I'm the last living resident of this town. This lost town. Okay, he's just eating soup. And we have a new enemy, Demon Hound. Actually, I'm just going to attack, so just free will will do. Wow, that guy's pretty strong. But not so strong, we can't take him out. That's some pretty good experience. Whoa. Uh. Okay, let's go get this treasure. If I can avoid being interrupted by battles, so we get Old Book Volume 8. Woohoo! And this building is much, much bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside, <laughs> tell you that much. Got another treasure here. And we get an antique. Fan. 
freaking tastic. Nothing in that house. Okay, we have a guy here. He has some plants in front of him. Do not step on the plants. You will be sorry. It's Blackman. What do you plan to leave behind in the wake of your battles? I guess I can trust you. Your eyes. They're honest eyes. So let's get Blackman. Eventually my seeds will sprout. Perhaps I must fight to protect them. So if you step on his plants, he will not join you, so don't do it. And everyone reached level 25 or 35, so that's good. We get a sound crystal. That is important for recruiting another character later. All right, so make sure you go get that sound crystal there. So this must be the secret factory. Okay. Ronnie Bell, what are you snooping around here for? You better have a good reason or you'll be sorry. Yikes, how can I be so unlucky? First I get chased off the mountain, and then I get captured by a giant woman. What did you call me? Giant woman? <clears throat> no, no, I mean... My luck's run out, getting beaten by this giant woman. If you don't stop insulting me, you'll be sorry. But wait a minute, please, I only called you giant woman once. I only said giant woman once too. Yeah, but Boss Kessler said giant woman twice. You bums, call me Jai Woman over and over. I'll teach you a lesson. <clears throat> hey, it's Lennon and Kessler. You. You're the one who was with Lady Odessa. Do you know these guys, Bo? Yes, I know them. Yes, yes, that's right. Lady Odessa and his young gentleman here once stayed at the inn. You fellows keep saying Odessa. Are you talking about Lady Odessa Silverberg? Who are you, leader of the Liberation Army? Oh my god, I better go call Moe's. You've business in the secret factory, right? Follow me. <clears throat> Alright, hey, how's it going, Kessler? What a disgrace. The Imperial Army began hunting bandits, and so we were chased off the mountain. Then I heard that a Liberation Army was formed. I figured I'd join up and came out here. Guess I was lucky to run into the Liberation Army's leader. Hey, we got Kessler. I'll go down in the mountain. Take care, Master Bo. Master Bo, please help poor miserable me. All I did was get served. All I did was serve them a tea, and they destroyed my inn. Master Bo, please let me join the Liberation Army. Sure, we get led on. Great. <coughs> All right, so let's go inside the secret factory. You're safe. You sure took your time. Mountain pass too rough for you? Old man Moses is in the back. What else is here? Oh, it's Kage. My name is Kage. I'm an allied with neither Imperial or Liberation Army. I work for whomever is willing to pay a proper sum for my services. Let's recruit him. My fee is very high. You'll have to pay me 20,000 bits until the end of this war. Oh uh, yeah, sure, why not? That's not too bad. Less than a ninja suit. <clears throat> Yay, we get Kage. I am in love, Miss Ronnie Bell. Hey, Mose. Oh, you must be the new leader of the Liberation Army. We heard that the hideout was attacked, and we were very worried. And what is Odessa doing now? She's, uh, she, I guess I don't have a choice. I see, I see. She was a good girl. I guess that blueprint of the Fire Spear has become a keepsake. Fire Spear? Do you have Fire Spears? Of course we do. What about a boat? They can't be transported without a boat. A boat? I have an idea. There's an old friend of mine in Kirov named Kunto. We may be, he may be able to help. After I make some preparations, I'll join you at Kirov. Yay, we got the Fire Spears. <clears throat> And what do we have here? Window setting zero. Okay. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it, so let's get out of here. And go back to Kirov. And fight some new enemies. Dagon, Dagons. Dagon it. Let's see. 
Oh, looks like they need a little bit more persuasion to die. Thank you, Yamku. 2200 bits, and that's without the prosperity rune. And we have to head back through Kaleka, so I will meet you back on the other side. Alright, so let's head on back to Kirov. Uh oh. Grizzly bear. He looks rabid. Oh my gosh. Ugh. But he's dead anyways. Great. Get a headgear that I don't need. Thank you very much. Do I need the soap? Probably not. What's a silver light? Oh, I don't need that either. Alright, let's go. Back to Kirov. And first let's talk to her, Melody. Oh, you have a rune, the sound rune. It's calling me. Please let me have that rune. Sure. <clears throat> Thank you. Now, my power will come alive. Master Bo, please let me join the Liberation Army. I'd like to use this tiny power for the benefit of all. <clears throat> Alright, so we get Melody. And we have to find that other guy that What's-His-Face is talking about. Hmm. Where could he be? Is he in here? Kunto! Who the hell are you people? <clears throat> Don't be such a stranger, Kunto. Tai Ho, it's been a while. I heard you moved to Kaku. Have you decided to join up with me again? No, actually, I have a request. Do you still make a living with boats, Kunto? Yep, that's my vocation. If I don't work, I don't eat. <clears throat> I'd like to borrow ten of your boats. Ten boats? Doing that dirty work again, aren't you? The Imperial forces have been on the lookout lately, so I can't touch, do much by way of illegal work. Do you mean to refuse? I guess I owe you one, don't I? I'll get you your boats. Do what you like with them. Thanks a million! Alright, and Kunto joins our party. And... Giant Woman is loading up the fire spears on the boats. There, that's all of them. The old man's a mean one. Making a woman carry me this this load. Ha ha ha, I guess it's a bit much for a skinny one like you. Really? These people. Yup, they're the Liberation Army. And you're a member? Just for fun. We're just about ready. Bo, let's get going. Master Bo, I'll come too. And we got Moe's. Oh well, I guess I'll keep you company. We get Ronnie Bell. All right. So let's sail on back to our headquarters. Now we have a plan against the evil Imperial Army. Maybe we can free our father from the clutches of evil. This boat's very fast. Yay. I don't know if that's because we have Stellion in our party or what, but... <clears throat> hey, Quan, what's up? This is White Castle. I feel so good. I'm so tired. I'm going to get some rest. Yeah, let's all get some rest, why don't we? <clears throat> Am I all alone now? Yep. Can't dash anymore. Oh, well. Hey, Pawn, what's up? Where's my food? That's all you care about is food, right? Looks like everybody's here. Hello. Commander Bo, we should be able to defeat the armored cavalry with the fire spears. Please give them the order to advance. <clears throat> uh, let's wait a while. This is the fire spear that Odessa left us. With this, we're sure to win. Fire Spear is all set and ready to go. Master Tio. Okay. 
Well, anyway, uh, I think that's it for this episode of Let's Play Suicoda. And next time, can we use the Fire Spears to defeat the Imperial Army? Or will they crush us again? I don't know. Find out later. See ya.